Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a very cool plugin, a really, every mixer should have this plugin. This is by DSonic called Real Phones. This is a plugin that you put on your master bus and you mix inside of your headphones so you can take your whole room out of the equation, the lack of acoustic treatment, so on and so forth, to help your mixes translate more accurately outside of your studios or, or wherever you want to uh, mix. You want to mix mobile, you want to mix on the road. Real Phones is a killer, killer product. I want to show you this today so you could go check it out. So uh, before we get started, make sure you like, share, subscribe. And also we're putting this on both YouTube channels, both Home Recording Made Easy and Mixing Music Analog. Links will be in the description box below. I want you to go out and check out both those websites, especially Home Recording Made Easy, where I'm going to give you that free mixing course. It's a hundred dollars. It's right on the homepage. It's my gift to you for visiting Home Recording Made Easy. And you want to be a part of that ecosystem because DeSonic, the makers of Real Phones, have given me three licenses that we're going to be able to give away as part of our prize packages as far as um, in our upcoming mixing um, uh, hard rock course that will be coming out in the fall of 2024. So if you want to know all about that and how you can win this plugin, as well as other cool studio gear and prizes, you need to be a part of Home Recording Made Easy and Mixing Music Analog. So... Do all of that. Links will be in the description box below. So full disclosure, DeSonic gave me real phones so I can do this for you. Absolutely free. They didn't charge me for the plugin. And they gave me those three licenses. Um, but all my opin opinions are my own. This is a very cool plugin. And if you're coming here and you're following me, you know I'm not I don't tell you something's great if it isn't great. This thing is great, and everybody wants you need to check this out. Now, now the problem with a plugin such as this, and there's other plugins on the market like this, and we'll talk about that in a second. Difficult to demo sound wise over YouTube. Um, these are kind of, to me, this is kind of like demoing a pair of studio speakers. It's like, you know, over YouTube, it's difficult to get a real appreciation for what this thing can do and how this thing can help you from a sound perspective, unless you actually demo it for yourself. And so I want to tell you a couple of things about real phones that you want to check out right now, especially if you're watching this video before September 9th, 2024. Between now, in September 9, 2024, there's a 30% discount on all three levels of pricing packages for real phones. Link will be in the description box below. No, that is not an affiliate link. I don't get anything for it. I'm just passing along the information to you. They also offer a 41-day free trial. So if you're watching this video when it first comes out, I'm telling you, if you don't want to watch this whole video, and you, I would just tell you, spoiler alert, it is really good. Click the link in the description, download the free trial. You have 41 days to check it out. And then if you like it and you're going to figure out in the first 15 minutes that this thing is worth every single penny, go buy it at 30% off. I think at 30% off, I know you're paying less than hundred dollars. I think you're paying like 60 or 70 bucks. Again, click, click the link in the description box. You got to go check it out. It's really, really cool. So you could pause the video now and go do that and then come back and you can get my opinion on this. So this thing is really cool. Now, the direct competitor to this, I believe, is the Slate Digital VSX, which people, you guys have asked me about that product. I can't tell you how many times I've been asked about that product. Now, I did demo their product when it first came out several years ago. I bought, I bought it with my own money, and I returned it within four or five days. I didn't like it. What did I like about it? And again, I could have improved it since that time. The, my main gripe with that product, and still to this day, the, my gripe about that product in DeSonic solve this with real phones is you have to buy their headphones. You have to buy the Slate headphones. They start at 300 bucks for a package and their platinum package, I believe is 600. And I will tell you, unless they've radically changed the design, their headphones are really kind of crappy. They're not, they're, they sound good, but they're made cheap, cheap plastic. When I picked those things up and put them on my head for the first time, I felt like I was, I was, you know, picking up a set of Walmart headphones very consumer grade headphones, bottom of the barrel, wasn't made very well, didn't seem like they were very durable. But again, this is when they first came out, they might've improved the design. Although I looked at them recently online, they look to be the same headphones that I had four or five years ago. Where real phones is different is you use your own headphones. You can use any set of headphones that you like. They have over 200 uh, profiles of all the popular brands that are on the market for both close back, open back, and otherwise. And we'll talk about that in a second. So you don't need to buy someone else's headphones that are cheaply made. You can use your own headphones and the product is far less money. 
than the slate. So right out of the gate, if everything else was equal, and I've used them both now, I can tell you real phones is head and shoulders above the slate VSX, in my opinion, just one guy's opinion, okay? Nothing against Slate. I've used a lot of their plugins. You know I love Slate Digital. I love them. The VSX, not so much. This thing, far better with way more features, okay? So make sure you check the links in the description box below. So let's walk through the interface here quickly. <clears throat> then we'll listen to a little bit of music so you can get a feel and you can open up another web browser and go out and download the demo for this thing because I really think you want to do it. Okay, along the top here, first thing we have is a set of presets up here, a preset list. It defaults to reference monitoring on headphones, but if you scroll down, you will see all the different presets that are in here. There's an enormous amount of presets in this thing. Everything from computers to home studios to cars to Bluetooth speakers to TV sets to bookshelf speakers. I mean, it's it, to public spaces, nightclubs, concert halls. I mean, it's ridiculous. You can almost say there's too many environments, too many, too many presets. Okay, but you have a whole bunch of presets that you can check out to play your mix on before you export it to make sure that it's going to translate in as many listening environments as possible. Right next to that, we have our power button to bypass it on and off. This plugin is meant to be used as the last plugin on your master bus in your mix session. Okay, just like all the other plugins of this ilk. Uh, along, right underneath the uh, logo up here, you'll see this thing called uh, Studio Open Generic Headphones. This is where you can store your profile for your particular headphones. If I click on this, you'll see that it comes with a, a generic studio closed headphone profile, a studio open back headphone profile, and then you'll see that I uh, downloaded from their website free. You know, it doesn't cost you anything to do this, and you can download as many of the profiles as you need for however many headphones that you have. I use the Neumann NDH30s, so I downloaded their profile. These headphones right here, you've seen me use this on these channel a million times. Again, these headphones are a $600 pair of headphones. Compared to the Slate VSX headphones, these things are 500 times better build quality than those Slate headphones are. I wanna make sure you realize using your own headphones that you're accustomed to is huge, I think, for this product. Put those down for a second. So you store all of that here, okay? For this demonstration, we're gonna stay on the studio open back generic headphone because I don't know when we're time to listen to some music. I'm not sure what headphones you're gonna be using. Most people that mix music use open back, so we'll use their generic profile, but it'll be more accurate if you download the profile for your specific headphones when you demo this thing for the next 41 days. Along the bo bottom here, we have this little menu um, the one thing that you want to make sure is checked, I think it's done by default, but you want to check this. This is a great feature. Bypass the plugin on Mixdown. So if you, if you don't know, when you put this last in your chain on your master bus, you want to make sure that the plugin is turned off before you export your mix because you don't want any of the correction or the EQ change to compensate for the headphones that you're using to be baked into your audio, right? You don't want to do that. This does that automatically. So you don't even need to worry about that. So you want to make sure that this thing is checked off, go into this little menu and double check that here. Again, we have advanced mode, we have high quality mode, we have all kinds of stuff here. Again, we're just gonna do a basic overview today. If you wanna see a way more in depth, because this thing is so powerful, there's so much under the hood here. If you wanna see future videos on this, let me know in the comments and I'll do this. But I just wanna give you a generic overview so you can go try it and take advantage of the 30% off. Right next to the right side, uh, once we get past this beautiful display, this beautiful graphic, which we're gonna look at in a minute, right underneath that we have reference monitoring. These are all the environments that we can choose from. And again, if you click on this, you can see all the different environments. And we'll go through a few of these, all the different things we were talking about. I mean, every kind of possible listening environment you could possibly want is all here, okay? Which is really cool. We'll check out a few of those in a minute. Okay, and then for each one of those, let me just pick one. Let me go to say studio, music studio optimized. The, the graphic changes. How do I close out of this thing? There we go. Um, you'll see this beautiful studio and then underneath it we have three different choices for each one of the environments. Near, then you'll see the little, the little highlight around our NS10s here. Mids to our near fields or our mid fields and then far to the big satellite speakers. So for each one of these environments, you're gonna have three different choices here. Like you're sitting in that studio, which is wonderful, which is great. 
Next to that, you're also going to have how much of the correction that you want to have here. You have this slider here where you can change the curve if you want to have more or less. I typically keep it on whatever it defaults. You can change the brightness a little bit if you want to change the brightness of what you're listening to. Again, just to get kind of get a reference point, and you'll see that the curve changes here as well. You can also uh, you can listen to just the mids of the mix, the sides of the mix, or you can check the low. You can put a low cut filter here. Oops. Do that again, just so you can check the low ends in that environment, which is really cool, really cool. Next to that, we have an output level here and a meter, and then we have a limiter, which is cool. Uh, so as you uh, go to the different environments, if the EQ curve raises the volume in certain frequencies and you're already running towards the, the hot side of a mix, it'll keep it from clipping, which is really cool. And that is the overview of this thing. You can also store some snapshots here uh, if you want to as well. You can you can take snapshots of different presets. You can save user presets. It's crazy. You can go read the manual and check that out. So what I'd like to do is I want everyone now to play along at home. Get your pair of, if you have a pair of open back headphones, get a pair of open backs. Because that's what we're going to use here for now. And again, take the sound with a grain of salt because you really got to download this and check it out for yourself. This listening to it over YouTube, I don't think does this thing justice. Um, I think it's, you'll be so much more impressed when you try the demo. So we got a piece of music here um, we're going to listen to here. And we're just going to start with, we'll start with this Music Studio Optimize. And I'm just going to switch between these things and just show you what we have. So first I'm going to start with it off and then I'm going to turn it on. So here's a little bit of music here. Let's just listen to this. This is a finished mix. Okay, so right out of the gate, you can hear as I switch between the NS10s, which are probably the Gentle X is probably what they're emulating there, to the big mains, the ATCs. I think that's what those are. You could hear how the low end, you can really hear the difference. And again, I turned down uh, a little bit here of the, this might be, this is, a, this is a final mix here. I could turn this down just a little bit. But this is why we got the limiter, which is great. But just listen, and again, when you switch between the three, and this is where I feel this thing is really accurate. Again, I don't know how it's going to transfer over YouTube. When I've used other types of plugins like this, and you switch between these three sets of speakers, they seem like it's way more hyped. This seems way more natural to me. It just seems like, yes, there's a little bit of that shift, but it's not this massive difference. It just seems more real to me from working in studios and working on three sets of speakers like this. I can tell you that's kind of the, the feeling I get when I hear this. Okay, let's try some other, let's try, let me just switch to a few other, that's our music studio, an optimized music studio. Let's try a different studio. So here's a different studio here where we have um, Studio 21A. Again, same kind of thing. We have we have through a mono speaker in the center, a near a set of near fields and a set of fars, the big, the big boys. And again, what this also emulates, which is really cool, is you're going to get like reflections and stuff off the console. This kind of, and I have a real console, so I know what, what this what this is uh really cool let's just check it out there's our mono
And you can also see as I change the environment here, the, the, the amount of the uh, correction here, let me just do that again. You can see we have 71% of ambience, 51% of the response. Again, it's really cool. It's got a lot of depth here. Let me just, I wish it would stay up on the screen there. Um, and it tells you what it's doing to the lows, the mids, and the highs, how much it's raising at the angle. It's just crazy. It's crazy. I usually just leave it on whatever it defaults at. So that's one other, that's a different environment. If we wanted to also go to, let's see, get out of studios for a second, you go like, like a television set. How cool is this? Again, a 42 inch, a 50 inch or a 55 inch. What's your, what, what's your flavor? I don't know. Let's check it out. Okay, let's go to the car, because that's always the big one, right? Let's go back to the beginning of this tune here. So here we are in the car, and again, we have RRSSC. I'm not sure what that means. What does that mean? Is that like a different kind of a car? The B5, what is that? Is that a, that must be a model of car, I'm not really sure. But let's just switch through the cars, and let's see what the difference is between the reality check and the car. No longer do you need to run to the car. What's this, a Tesla? Look at that thing, look at that screen. I wish I had that kind of an iPad screen in my car. I mean, this is great for checking different, you know, types of listening environments and different types of cars. And really where the low ends to me is the big thing is sometimes, you know, you get it out in the car and the low end is usually way off. Uh, this really helps you dial that in. Let's you check the low ends. This is great right here. That's a great feature. You can see the curve. Okay, they have a, um, um, a real, another, again, modern car, different type of car. And what's really great about a product like this and why I really highly recommend this is that it's not going to sound exactly the same on every single listening environment. But what this does, it gives you an opportunity to click through a bunch of these things and just say, hey, is this is my mix going to sound balanced and is the low end going to be fairly accurate in as many listening environments as possible? Because that's all we could hope for as mixers. We can't mix to every single playback system that's out there. It's not going to sound optimal in every single area. But for example, if the low end isn't right, and let's say it's very, very boomy because you're working in a room without acoustic treatment, that's not a room that's not purpose built for mixing and the low end isn't accurate in your room, which is a huge problem for mixers. The low end is usually the hardest thing to get right. By working on headphones, especially if you're working on headphones with the profile that's meant for your headphones, not like the generic one, the one that's built for your specific headphones, and you take all that nonsense out of the mix, now you can see, for example, is your low end going to translate? Is it going to sound good in all these different environments? And that's what's really cool about this. Let's try, a, let's quickly, let's just, I have another, another piece of music here. Let's just try another piece of music here. Let me move this out of the way for a second. Let's try something a little different here. 
Let's just see what this does. Let me turn this down a little bit so we don't blow it out. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, listen to this and see what we got here. So we got air buds, right? Okay, you can switch also with these arrows. You can switch down here, so you don't have to keep coming down here if you want to. But this is really cool. I mean, again, I, I could sit here and, and we can go through a million of these, but to be honest with you, big fat bottom. Let's see how the low end sounds on this. Nightclub, really cool. Which is usually always going to have a lot more low end in it, in that environment, which makes total sense. With 200 guests, meaning the bodies in the room are going to absorb a lot of that low end. <laughs> really cool. I mean, this is a really cool product. Again, this is just this is just a brief overview. Uh, if you again, if you want me to do more videos on this and really get under the hood a little bit more, we can. But what I would tell you, because this can get very complicated, there's a lot of tweaking that you can do with this, which is great. If you really want to get under the hood and you really want to get crazy with this thing, you can. Um, but in, in the spirit of keeping this simple and just telling you, I've used this now for a bit, it's cool. It's the best headphone product for mixing that I've tried yet. And there's other ones on the market. We've done some demos, some other plugins, and there's some other cool plugins out there that model different environments and stuff. And some of them are really cool. I've done them on the channel before. You've seen those videos. What I like about this is it kind of, the fact that it brings in your own headphones, it has 200 profiles of, of headphones. So no matter what headphones you have, you're going to be able to find that uh, probably in their list. And they're probably adding to that more and more, but chances are you're going to have, they're going to have the profile for your headphones. The fact that you can use your own headphones that you're already accustomed to, you don't need to buy them. The fact that you have all the listening environments here, probably if not the same amount more than any other product of this type. I mean, I don't know how many more, how many more environments you want to have. <laughs> um, it has all of that stuff in it. And even at full price, I think it retails, I want to say for less than 200 US dollars. Again, click the link in the description box. And if you go between now and September 9th, 24, 2024, you get 30% off. Go check this out. Go demo the thing. Again, it's not an affiliate link. I don't get anything for it. I just thought this was a really cool product. And I want to uh, thank DeSonic for uh, for sending it over to me. And again, thank you also for giving me three licenses that we can give away as part of our mixing contest, which is coming up. And again, the only way you're going to learn about which mixing contest, when is it coming, and all of that, is you got to be part of the HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com ecosystem. And the way you get on my email list, and the way you get all the special deals and discounts on all my training and on my online school, is to be a part of that community. 
So go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, regardless of which YouTube channel you're watching this on. Get the free mixing course. Even if you're an advanced level engineer and you don't think you need the free beginner's course, get it anyway. Download it. Give it away to somebody. Give it to one of your friends. That will put you on my email list so you'll know when there's special deals, discounts, coupons, and specials that are only available to people that are on my email list. It's not available to the general public. Okay, I'm not going to spam you with a bunch of stuff. I'm only going to send you emails when you have special deals like getting this plugin absolutely free as part of our upcoming mixing contest in the fall of 2024. So make sure you do that. Once you do that, I also want to give you a 25% discount coupon code. If you want to take one of my training courses, put the coupon code YouTube 25. That'll take 25% off any training course on the website so you can get involved in the whole home recording made easy and mixing music analog ecosystem. So Thank you so much for watching me today. Thank you, DeSonic, for sending this over. Go check out Real Phones. And until the next video, I've been Dave with both Home Recording Made Easy and Mixing Music Analog. Thank you so much for watching me today, everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next video.